Good evening, Sergio Eduardo. Good evening, Sergio. Good evening, Stephanie. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm doing pretty well, thank you. How was your day? Uh, my day was very hard. Oh, really? Yes. What did you do? Uh, I um, stay at home, but I clean a lot in my house. Oh, yeah. And take care of my nephews. Oh, that's a lot of work. Yes. Yes, it's tiring to be home and just doing all the housework, right? I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so have you been working in the platform, Stephanie? Yes, I work in today and okay. I finished the section number one. All right, excellent. Yes. Good evening, Sergio. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am fine. Great. How was your day? Uh, a little bit. Uh, tranquilo. It was quiet, just relaxing. Relax, a little bit relaxed. Okay, that's nice. Okay. What do you do, sir? Uh, repeat, please. What do you do? Uh, I am watching the class. Oh, no, I mean, uh, what do you do? A que se dedica? Um, I am a student. A student. Oh, you're a student. What yes. do you study? In the university and here. Okay, that's nice. Yes. Excellent. Have you been working in the platform? Uh, yes. Uh, today I have been working uh, a little bit. All right. Are you in section one still or what section are you in? Uh, finish the section one. You finished. Okay. Yes. Good. Tomorrow I I going to the section two. All right. Wait. That's nice. Very good. Good evening, Andrea Araceli. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Grisela? Um, very well, and you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, thanks. Hi, Andrea. So, how was your day, Grisela? Mm, very good. All right, excellent. Have you been working in the platform? Um, yes. Okay, great. What section are you in? Excuse me? What section are you in? Um, 1.3. Okay. All right, just keep on working then. Yes. Okay. Andrea Araceli, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine, and you? I'm fine, thanks. How was your day? Mm, a little bit busy. Oh, it was busy? 
Did you have to work? Yes. Okay. What do you do? I am a software developer. Oh, right. Interesting. That's nice. Have you been working in the platform? Um, I'm just, I've already, um, uh, ya la vi. <laughs> Este, oh. pero no he trabajado en ella todavía. Solamente okay. el primer ejercicio. All right. So maybe on the weekend you can do some work over there. Yes. Okay. Good evening, Héctor Rico. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Héctor? Fine. Great, how was your day? Always busy. Oh yeah, I can imagine. What do you do? I am working at logistics. Oh, uh, that's interesting. Nice, have you been able and, to work in the platform too? Yeah, okay. I, I covered the 1.8 conversation. All right. Uh, that we saw yesterday about I am real fitness freak. Okay, you got it. That's nice. Yeah. Very good. So I make also the 1.4, the no wellage check. Mm -hmm. So I think that we will cover today the, the question with how short answer, right? Exactly. Yeah, we're doing that today. Okay. How are you, Rosibel? Good evening, everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm fine, teacher, and you? I'm well, thank you. How was your day? Very busy. <laughs> oh, did you work? I work today. <laughs> okay. And how about the platform? Have you been working in it? Yes, in in the unit one. Okay. All right, that's fine. And good evening, Luciano. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Yes, very well. And you, mm -hmm. teacher? I'm fine, thank you. How was your day? Perdón? How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? How was your day? Yeah. I working full. Okay, so it was a busy day. A busy day? Un día ocupado. Yes, uh, a closing uh, accounting. Oh, uh, okay. Of thing amongst. All right. Yeah, that's a lot of work, right? Yeah. Okay. And have you been able to enter to the platform and maybe do some work over there? Uh, yes, uh, a work. Plata, uh, platform for in Unity in one. Okay, very good. Good evening, Mauricio. Good evening, everyone. How are you? Wow, fine. Very well. That's nice. How yes. was your day? Uh, uh, very, very busy. It was busy, okay. Yes, busy, yes. Do you have any time to work in the platform? Really? Uh, today, not. Okay. I work at Wednesday. All one. right. And what section are you in? Uh, I remember that uh, Albert's. Oh, okay. Maybe in section one still. Yes. yes. Okay. All right.
right, that's good. Good evening, Mercedes Rivas. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Have you been working in the platform as well? No, no pude entrar porque me han bloqueado el usuario. You couldn't y no le han respondido. Porque eso sí, sé que me, me había dicho que había enviado un mensaje, sí, ¿verdad? Sí, y me mandé correo también y me respondió el ingeniero Jason, okay. pero igual me dijo que intentara la, el siguiente día porque 24 horas tarda. Ah, muy bien, pero ya no volvió a intentar, no ha intentado. No, todavía no. Ah, ok. Bueno, intente de nuevo y si no, mañana estamos por ahí en, en el chat. Nos comunica si tiene algún inconveniente y, y le ayudamos. Ok, gracias. All right. Good evening, Ana Maria. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. Very Thanks, good. and you? Pretty well, thank you. How was your day? Okay. I have been. Uh, I had a tighter day. Oh, it was tight in. Did you have a lot of work? I listened. You listened. Yes, I can hear you. Teacher? Yes, I can hear you. Perdón, que es que fíjese que voy de camino y a veces la señal como que se me corta en este pedazo de... Okay, don't worry. Yes, yes. I not working in the platform. Uh, okay. Um, I working in the platform uh, tomorrow. All right, that's fine. I have a. Okay. Okay. So let's see. It's time to start with the class. So let me just get the presentation. And welcome everybody to our third class. So we're going to start by talking about how fit or fitness we are. Let's see. So this is what we are going to do. You probably have seen the survey in the platform. Maybe you already developed it. And well, but now I'm going to send a picture of the of the survey to the, the WhatsApp chat. And what we are going to do is to complete the survey. You have to read the questions, then select your answers. And you also have to notice how many points you get. You have to add up the points. And then we are going to share our results. Is that okay? Okay. All right, so take um, two or three minutes to read the, the survey. You read the, the questions, then you select your answer, notice the points you get, and at the end you have to add them up. Once you do that, um, you come back to the class and we are going to share. So the time starts now, you got two minutes. Okay, did you get the picture? Yes. Okay.
You got 30 seconds. Excuse me, teacher. I don't miss it very well. Get the name. Yes, sir. Oh, you have to go to the WhatsApp group and look for the survey. I just sent a picture of a survey that we have in a platform. And then you have to read the questions and select your answers. After that, you add the points you get. And then we are going to take some time to share. Ah, okay. Thank you. All right, so I'm giving you an extra minute. Did anybody finish? Nobody? When you finish, please let me know. I have 25, 23 points. You got 23, Mauricio? Okay, yes. very good. Did anybody else finish? Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Eh, tenemos que copiarlas todas en el cuaderno. Oh, no, no. You don't have to. Just answer. Select your answers and get your points. Uh, okay. All right. Did anybody else finish? I finished teacher. 24 okay. points I have. You got 21. All right, and the others, can you grade your score in the chat, please? I finished. All right, very good, Griselda. Uh, so I'm maybe sorry, can... I, missed the, I missed the connection. Uh... Oh. So, Hector, we were working in the survey that we have in the platform. So I just sent a picture to the WhatsApp chat and then you have to read the, the questions, then select your answers and get the points. Okay, you add up the points. Okay, let me check. Okay. So meanwhile, let's see um, the ones who already got the, um, the points. Can you please send the, your score to the chat? My okay. score is 28. You got 28, okay, very nice. And the others? I'm making that uh, three. three. Okay, so let me read what the score means. So we got 46 to 55 points. That's excellent job. Keep up with the work. 31 to 45, good. Your health and fitness are above average. 16 to 30 points, your health and fitness are a little below average. And 15 or below, you can improve your health and fitness. So let me see. A, Edwin, how many points did you get? Teacher, I, I don't finish. Oh, you haven't finished, okay. Grisela, how many did you get? Um, my score is 36. All right, that's nice. Very fitness. <laughs> 
Stephanie, what's your score? My score is 28. You got 28. Okay, that's nice. Mauricio, how many points did you say you got? Yes, I, I have 24 points. 24, okay, that's good. Rosibel, how many points did you get? Okay, Hector got 33. Very good, Hector. Rosibel Hernandez, how many points did you get? Perdón, teacher, tenía apagado el, el micrófono. Oh, okay, don't worry. 54. You got um, 54. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's very nice. You're in the last grade, in the last um, classification. Nice. <laughs> no, me equivoqué, perdón. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, sorry, how many points no. did you get? <laughs> no, but sí, sorry. Uh, 35. <laughs> oh, that's 35. Okay. But it's very a good result. Slow. Still. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Don't worry, it's fine. Ana Maria, how many points did you get? Teacher, ando un poco perdida que ayer no entré a clases y pues hace un ratito me desconecté, entonces no entendí qué es lo que estaba oh, okay. estudiando. Ok, no mm -hmm. worry. Excuse me. It's ok. Um, let me see one more person. Luciano, how many points did you get? What <laughs> happened? <laughs> <laughs> Hasta ahorita voy viendo la, la... Es que no estaba en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ah, ok. Y ahorita lo me acaba de grabar y en todo lo que abrí la oh. plataforma. ¿no? Ok. Y como no había hecho el ejercicio, sinceramente. All right, that's Teacher. fine, don't worry. Teacher. Yes? I finished. Finish. So tell me, how many points did you get, Edwin? Uh, 38. You got 38. Okay. 38 that's a points. nice result. Great. Very fit. <laughs> okay, so okay. let's. Let's continue then. So remember that yesterday we started talking about the questions with how, right? So we watched a video in the platform and we got some options of questions using how, like how often, how long, how well, and how good, right? And also here we have some different options to answer some different answers that we could give to those questions. For example, we got how often do you work out? Every day, twice a week, not very often. Can you help me to read the next question, please? And um, let's see, Kelly Sarabia. That's one with how long? How long do you spend at the gym? Okay. And the answers, please. Mm. About, uh, no, sorry, 30 minutes a day, two hours a week, about an hour on weekends. All right, thank you, Kelly. Mm. Stephanie, can you read the next one, please? With how well? Okay, how well do you play tennis? Pretty well, about the beverage, not very well. Thank you, Stephanie. Andrea Araceli, read the next one. How good are you at sports? Yes, pretty good. Okay, not so good. All right, thank you. Now let me ask some people. Let's see, um, Sergio. How often do you work out? Sergio? Uh, can you hear me, teacher? Yes, now I can hear you. I usually uh, twice a week. Okay, very good. Or I try to every day. <laughs> All right, that's nice. 
Grisela, how long do you spend at the gym? Mm. Two hours a week. Two hours a week. All right, mm -hmm. that's nice. Osvaldo, how well do you play tennis? Uh, no, very well. Not very well, okay. And Mauricio, how good are you at sports? I think so, okay. All right, that's nice. Okay, so now let me give you some more options to make questions with help. So here we have, for example, well, again, how often we get, how often do you travel abroad? Next one is how long? Can you help me to read it, Karina Gomez? How long does it take for you to get to work? Thank you. How well? Can you help me to read, Ana Maria? How well do you drive? All right, thanks. How good? Edwin, can you read the example, please? Okay, how good are you at the sports? Thank you. Mercedes, how much? How much water do you drink in a day? Okay, thank you. Franklin, how many? Okay, uh, how many pencils do you have? Okay, thank you. And let's see, let me ask um, Luciano, read the next one, please. How old? How old is your mom? Okay, our next one is with how far? Rosibel, help me, please. How far is the short? How far is the short? Okay, thank you. So as you see, we have many different options for making questions with how. We got how often, how long, how well, how good, how much, how many, how old, how far. And we could also include some others. So, um, well, now what I need you to do in order to practice is to go to the breakout rooms and work together with some classmates to ask and answer these questions. So um, once again, I'm sending you the questions to the chat in the, to the WhatsApp group. And you're going to the breakout rooms for a couple of minutes. You ask and answer the questions. Is Teacher, that okay? I have a question. Tell me. Uh, what is the meaning how old? How old? So that is for asking about age. How old are you? I'm 27 years old, you could say. Or eh, I'm 16 years old. Mm -hmm. Es como que preguntemos cuántos años tiene tu mejor amigo. Exactly. Yes. Oh. ¿Cuántos Thank años you, teacher. Tienes? Okay. okay. Teacher, All right. I have a question. Tell me. Uh, what mean uh, far? Far, in how far we're talking about distance. Okay, que tan lejos. Okay, yes. Ah, que tan lejos. Ah, yep. okay. Any other questions? No more. Okay, so let me send you to the breakout rooms right now. And I'm sending you the picture in just a moment.
Ok. okay. Eh, great question, ¿cierto? Eh, sí, creo que, en, oh. creo que en, el, eh, en el grupo de WhatsApp creo que la van a mandar, creo. Yes, ah, I just okay. sent a picture, I think. You should have gotten ah. it. Answer, answer okay. uh, the question. Yes, you have you have to ask and answer the questions. Okay. 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 And you bueno. uh, nos va a preguntar las respuestas. Entre nosotros nos tenemos que preguntar y responder. Okay. Yes, that's yes. right. Oh, yes, sure. Okay. Si sí la puedo compartir, ah, ok. Si sí la comparte mucho, que mejor. Así no estoy poniendo el WhatsApp. Sí, cabal, ahorita, pero un minuto. Ok, ok. Eh, yo pregunto. No sé quién me responde ahí. How many brothers eh, do you have? I have, okay. I have one brother and one sister. Okay. And you, Stephanie? I have one, one brother and three sisters. Okay. I have a three sisters and a uh, one brother okay how, how the, okay <laughs> pronuncialo no dígalo no hay problema how old how old is your best friend my best friends all uh, have all um, 30 Si no mal recuerdo, 36. No okay. me acuerdo. So you say my best friend is 36 years old. Ok. 36 ah. or years old. Years old. Yes. Ah, old. Teacher. Yes. O sea que no vamos a decir, para decir tiene, no vamos a decir how. Uh -huh. No, in the case of age, we do not use have, we use the verb be. For example, when I ask you for your own age, how old are you? Then you answer, I'm oh. 27 years old. Ah, ok. You use the verb be. Ok. Entonces, bueno, uh, my best friend is 28 years old. Lo dije bien. Yes, you're right. Okay. And my best friend is uh, 23 years old. Next question. How, how well... Toca, toca. Okay. Me, to me toca. Sí. How, how well do you play soccer? Uh, it's question uh, how well uh, yeah. how often is uh, cada cuanto vas a la iglesia uh -huh. I never never Not to church? I never uh, actuality <laughs> I never uh, uh -huh. A lot uh, in church, uh, frequently. <laughs> Actually, are you, uh, are you married? <laughs> <laughs> don't practice. Don't practice religion. Uh, yes, uh, uh, I'm good, uh, Catholic. No sé cuándo es Catholic. Uh, Catholic. Yeah, Catholic. Uh -huh, Catholic. Mm -hmm. y, y, he estado en otro evangélico también. Ah, Pero, okay. uh, uh -huh. Okay. How Solo far is San Miguel from Santa Ana? 
Ay, son los que buscamos en Google. <risa> Ajá, sí, porque no sé. Son 160, de, bueno, de donde yo vivo, Santa Tecla es, Santana son 50 y San Miguel son 160. Son 210 Ajá. kilómetros. Ajá. ¿No? Sería en inglés 210 kilómetros. Para... No, 100, 160 más 50. Ah, do, ¿260? 200, no, 160 es de aquí para San Miguel, de Santa Tecla para San Miguel. Ajá. De Santa Tecla para Santa Ana son 50. Entonces sumo 50 más 160, son 210 kilómetros, es de distancia, ¿verdad? Eh, in my case, I am... Uh... A little bit uh, slow, lent. Me too. I don't, I, I don't like room. The question eight How much coffee do you drink in a week? I don't drink coffee. Uh, in my case, I drink coffee every day. Uh, me too. I don't drink in coffee. I don't drink coffee. Okay. We can repeat. How far is San Miguel from Santa Ana? Mm. Very far. <laughs> very, very far. Um, how fast do you roam? Um, I roam very fast. Mm, excellent. Um, how much coffee do you drink a week? in a week? Oh, I drink... Every day is... Okay. Cafetero. <laughs> yes. All right, so let me hear some of the answers. Let's see, um, Ana Maria, how many brothers or sisters do you have? I have uh, three brothers and one, uh, perdón, three sisters and one brother. Okay, interesting, you have a big family. Okay. Let's see, um, Edwin Castro, how old is your best friend? My best friend is 28 years old. Okay, nice, thank you. So I just sent a reminder to the chat about this. So um, remember, when talking about age with questions with how old, we use the verb be. And it's the same for the answer. So for example, when I ask you about your age, I say, how old are you? How old are you? And remember you have to answer I'm or I am. Then you say your age and you add years old. Okay, that's the right answer. You do not use the verb have as in Spanish. En español normalmente diríamos tengo 27 años, tengo 30 años, and so on, right? Um, en inglés no lo utilizamos con el verbo tener, sino que con el verb be. So you say I am, or in the case of your best friend, he is or she is. Just keep that in mind. Igual cuando, teacher. Yes. Igual cuando uno va a decir eh, cuando cumpleaños is my mother's birthday is on, eh, 
el número y después el, el mes y todo eso. Yes, exactly. So you say my birthday or my mom's birthday is on September 28th. Okay. Yes. All right. So let's continue with the next question. Um, Rosibel, how well do you play soccer? Rosibel? I don't play, I don't play soccer. Okay. Mm, Kelly Sarabia, how long have you been working for the same company? I have seven years, uh, seven years for the same company. All right, that's nice. Franklin, how often do you go to church? Um, I go to the church uh, very weekend. Every weekend, okay. Every weekend, sorry, sorry, sir. Every weekend. All right, that's nice. Mauricio, how far is San Miguel from Santa Ana? Okay, uh, we, we research in Google the information. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, uh, how uh, the San Miguel is part to Santana at 198 kilometers. Oh, it's 198 kilometers away. Interesting. Yes. Okay, thank you, Mauricio, for sharing. Karina Gomez, how fast do you run? I run slow. Okay. Grisela, how much coffee do you drink in a week? Um, I drink coffee twice a week. Okay, it's good, not very much. Uh, All right, so now we're going to practice a little bit by listening to a conversation. So what I want you to do is to pay attention to the conversation and write down the verbs in past tense. So you listen and you write all the past forms that you hear. Uh, before I, I had a question. Tell me. What is the difference between how long and how far? How long and how far? Well, with how long, we're talking about um, time, right? How long, like um, okay. how long have you been working for the same company? five years, six months, okay. and so on, right? We're talking about time. And then with, uh, what was the other one? Can you repeat it? How far? Oh, how far? We're talking about distance. Okay, okay. we're asking for this. Okay, okay. All right, so let me play the conversation. Remember, you have to get the past forms that you hear. Okay, pay attention, please. Hi to all, welcome to section seven. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay. Could you get some verbs in the past? Yes. Stayed. Stayed. Okay. Any others? I remember. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so don't worry, here I have the conversation. 
So take a look at it and tell me the verbs in the past that you find in the conversation. Did. Okay, did. What else? Had, went. Had, went. Any other? That's pretty much it, did right? You, and stayed. Yes. Go. Didn't. Didn't. Study. Okay. Study. Very good. Stay. Right. Study. Yes. Weekend. Uh, no, weekend is not a verb, okay? Just uh. we got did, had, went. Uh, let me see. Well, again, did, didn't in the in the negative form. Went again. Stayed. Um, yeah, and stayed. Those are the ones we have. And studied. Studied too. Mm -hmm. Forgot is another one. Remember, it's the past of forget. Forgot. Yes. Get. Get is in the present. Okay. And in the past, it becomes got. Right. Get, got, okay? All right, so now let me ask the people to read the conversation. Let's see, that's going to be Sergio and Karina Gomez. Is that okay? Okay, sure. All right, Sergio, you start. Okay. Rick, so what did you do? What did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to a lucky? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get on hey. Okay, thank you guys. Let me ask now, um, let me see, Franklin and, and Kelly, can you help me to read the conversation one more time? Okay, teacher, I am Rick. Uh, so, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sat with some friends on Saturday. That sound like a phone. Did you go to look it? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How, how about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed at home in a studio for today Spanish test. Or Spanish test? test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Thank you. Okay, just let me tell you over here I made a little mistake. So it should be sang, like the past of sing, right? So, oh, that color is not okay. Let me get another color. There we are. Sang. So over here it says, I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. Okay, so now I need you to repeat after me. Did. 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 Had. Uh, had. Uh, went. 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 Karaoke. 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 Karaoke bar. Karaoke bar. Sang. Sang. Friends. 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 Fun. 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 
Lucky. Lucky. Didn't. 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 Went. 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 Downtown. 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 Anywhere. 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 Stayed. 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 Studied. 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 Forgot. 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 Okay. Do we have any questions about the conversation? No. No. Okay. Verdad que downtown is ciudad o algo así. Yes, the city center. Okay. Y el centro de la ciudad. Uh -huh. la ciudad eh, ah, okay. Sí, podríamos decir la ciudad exactamente. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now let's talk a little bit about the simple past. We are going to start by reviewing the negative statements. So remember that the structure that we have for making negative st statements in the simple past is subject, then we use the auxiliary did plus not. And then we have a verb in the present. Remember we use the verbs in the present as go, eat, or work. And after that, we need a complement. And also remember that for the contracted form, of did not we have what is it did it there we do have it so you use did not or didn't and it's very important to keep in mind that we use the verb in the base form that is in the present here i have some examples i did not go out last weekend she didn't eat pasta on friday they did not work last week. Okay, so I believe you have already studied this. So um, it should be easy, right? We just need to practice a little bit more. So, um, well, here I have an exercise for you to practice. It's a fill in the blanks. So we are going to just use the verbs in parentheses and complete the sentences by using the negative form of the simple past. For example, in the first one, she buy a new car. How do we complete the sentence? She bought a new car. That would be in the affirmative form, right? Now make it negative, please. She didn't buy a, car, a new car. Exactly, she didn't buy a new car, we say. Number two, Edwin Castro. Uh, they did play tennis on Sunday. They didn't play tennis on Sunday. Thank you. Okay. Mauricio, number three. She did not go to school. Okay, Sue. Sue did not go to school. Okay, okay. Thank you, Mauricio. Hector, help me with number four. I I didn't call him. I didn't call him. That's right. Luciano, number five. He didn't sell his house. All right. He didn't sell his house. Ana Maria, number six. Um, drink some house. Use. 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 Okay. Thank you. Andrea Araceli, next one, please. Es usando la forma negativa, ¿verdad? Yes, in the negative. Okay. We, es la yes. We didn't listen to the news on the radio. Thank you. Franklin, the last one, please. Okay. Uh, Justin and Ryan didn't write a letter to their mom. All right, thank you. Okay, I got a second exercise. Over here we got um, sentences in the scrambled form. We need to unscramble them or put them in the right order. So let me ask Osvaldo to start with the first one. Um, 
I didn't have breakfast. Thank you. I didn't have breakfast. Rosibel, next one, please. I don't know, teacher. Okay. Um, so do I have a volunteer to unscramble this one? Me. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Susan did not buy sweet at the bakery. Sweet bread at the bakery. Okay, Susan did not buy sweet bread at the bakery. All right, thank you. And okay. next one, Grisela. Um, students did not um, ask um, as a lot of the, a lot uh, of questions. No, the questions okay so that will be the students did not ask a lot of questions okay thank you grisela and the next one is for hector okay. number four yeah christian didn't buy a new guitar Yes, you're right. Thank you. Kelly, next one, please. Okay. Uh, we didn't wash car on Saturday. We didn't wash the car on Saturday. Okay, very well. So that's how we make sentences in the negative form of the simple past. Do we have any questions about what we have studied today? Maybe not. No questions. No. Okay, so just let me tell you that we need to continue practicing in the platform. Please keep on working. Now we are in section two already. So please, if you have some time uh, either tonight or on the weekend, just take a chance and continue working in the platform, please. That's important. Okay, so I hope you have a, a very good weekend. Take care. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Take care. Good night, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you.